Hello and welcome to French Philosophers React, a philosophical take on the news headlines for today, September 23rd, 2024. This is an AI-generated podcast intended as an engaging, relevant, and informative way to explore what French philosophers might think about the day's news. But like all AI, it can make mistakes. Use it for generating possible ideas, but don't rely on it as an authoritative guide to the news or to the details of French philosophy. In the news today, Kamala Harris challenged Donald Trump to a second debate, accusing him of looking for an excuse to avoid it. She accepted an invitation from CNN and called on Trump to meet her again before the election. Harris previously won the first scheduled debate and is steadily gaining trust among voters, particularly on economic issues. The two candidates are running neck and neck in national polls, with Harris seen as the underdog. The stakes of the election remain high, with Democrats perceiving a threat to democracy if Trump wins a second term. Commentary. In the richly woven fabric of human experience, we often find ourselves torn between our genuine selves and the carefully crafted personas we present to the world. This delicate balancing act is particularly pronounced in the realm of politics, where leaders are wont to project an image of unimpeachable virtue and wisdom. Yet, as we navigate this grand spectacle, we must not forget that true leadership begins with a profound awareness of one's own fallibility. As Michel de Montaigne so eloquently observed in his essays, I have never been able to fancy that I was made for any other purpose than to be useful to others. And as for myself, I am so far from being concerned with the affairs of state that I do not even know whether my place is in a community or among the few. These words, penned by a man who shunned the trappings of power and sought only to live a life of contemplative simplicity, serve as a poignant reminder that true leadership is not about grandstanding or posturing, but rather about humility and a willingness to listen. In this context, Kamala Harris's challenge to Donald Trump for a second debate takes on a deeper resonance. By calling out her opponent's attempts to avoid a rematch, Harris is implicitly acknowledging the performative nature of politics, where leaders are often more concerned with projecting an image than with engaging in genuine dialogue. As she seeks to engage Trump in a further exchange, Harris is, in effect, saying that she will not be swayed by empty rhetoric or grand gestures. Instead, she demands a debate grounded in substance and truth. This brings us to the crucial matter of seeking out truth, which Montaigne deemed of great importance in his treatise on books. He noted that it is one thing to pursue knowledge, but quite another to be satisfied when we have found it. In the context of this election, Harris's commitment to a second debate represents a similar dedication to the pursuit of truth, even as her opponent seeks to sidestep and obfuscate. But what lies at the heart of this struggle for authenticity in politics? Is it not a fundamental question about who we are as individuals and as a society? As Montaigne so astutely observed in A Custom of Gentlemen, in matters which are not properly within our reach, we must either attribute them to chance or to providence. I would rather do so in a way that gives God all the glory and credit. In this wise statement, we see a glimmer of the profound uncertainty that lies at the heart of human existence. It is precisely this uncertainty that Harris's challenge to Trump represents, a recognition that the truth is not always clear-cut or easily accessible. By refusing to be swayed by her opponent's attempts to avoid a rematch, Harris is, in effect, saying that she will not be party to a performance that masquerades as reality. Instead, she seeks a space where true debate can occur, and where the masks of pretension are shed. As we navigate this complex landscape of politics and performance, Montaigne's words offer us a guiding light, a reminder that true leadership begins with a deep understanding of one's own limitations, and that the pursuit of truth is always worth the effort. In Harris's determination to engage Trump in a further debate, we see a glimmer of this spirit, a commitment to authenticity, even as her opponent seeks to avoid it. Thank you for listening to today's episode of French Philosophers React. Be sure to come back tomorrow for more reflective takes on the day's news.